begin tonight with breaking news out of South Florida Airport. You're seeing a Soviet airplane from Cuba that landed at the Dade Collier Airport earlier today. The news comes on a day when the U.S. Coast Guard repatriated more than 270 Cubans. Let's get right over to CBS 4's Joe Gord Show, live in the newsroom with more on this breaking story. Joe? Lauren Elliott, U.S. Customs and Border Protection, found only one person on the plane, 29-year-old Ruben Martinez of Cuba. And when speaking with officials tonight, many questions remain unanswered about his journey from Cuba to Florida. This is the video of the plane parked at the Dade Collier Airport today. CBP responded to the scene at around 1130 this morning. Investigators share with us Martinez is in custody. They believe he was traveling alone. They're trying to determine if the plane was stolen. Why did he land here? Does he have any family? What's his motive? I spoke with the associate director of the Cuban Research Institute at FIU. Sebastian Arco shares his perspective on why we've witnessed an influx in desperate attempts to flee Cuba. He calls it a perfect storm, adding that today marks the worst Cuban Cuban regime's economic crisis since Castro came to power. We don't know how to face this crisis that they have. They are paralyzed. They don't know what to do. And the population doesn't believe what the government says. The population is now convinced that the source of their problems is the Cuban Communist Party and its permanence in power and nothing else. So that's why Cubans are trying to flee because they realize that there is no hope. And authorities add this remains an active investigation and coming up at 11 more on today's plane landing and perspective on the influx of Cubans fleeing to the U.S. this year. Joe Gorcho, CBS 4 News.